In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Garmin Venue SQ2. So first things first, we want to turn it on. So to do that, you'll want to press and hold this upper button on the right side. So I'm gonna press and hold. And there we have the Garmin logo appearing and a modern little animation showing this is the Garmin Venue SQ2. And now we have a little hello in multiple different languages. And it's not super obvious, but in order to get to the next one, you tap on the screen here, or you can swipe from right to left if that didn't work. And here we can select our language. There are actually several languages to choose from, so that's always nice. So I'll go ahead and tap on English. You also have an indication of the battery percentage here. So I'll go ahead and tap on English. And now it says, do I want to pair it with a phone or not? So in this case, I do want to pair it with a phone, so I'll tap on the green check mark. And so it's telling me to download Garmin Connect mobile app to get started. So this is what the app icon looks like. If you don't already have this app, or even if you do, you can go to the App Store. I'll say continue. I'm actually going to turn off my night shift here. <laughs> and I'm going to go search and tap on the search bar and I'm searching Garmin Connect. So Garmin Connect mobile app. I'll tap on that. And after the advertisement, I will click on this. And this is why I recommend, even if you have it on your phone, to go ahead and open it up because you might need to update to the latest version. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap update here. So you most likely wanna be on the latest version because it might not be able to set up the newest watch if you don't have a version that includes the newest watch. So if you already have the latest version, you can just tap open in that same area if you have never had the app before, it'll probably say install. So go ahead and tap that. So whatever is in this area, essentially, you'll want to tap on it. And my update is going through. So I'll be back when it finishes updating. All right, so it is finally updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap open. So it says set up. Oh, all right, so it says ready to connect your venue SQ2. Once you complete this setup, you'll be able to track your steps and more. Look for the six digit pin on the device once you select connect it. So if this is not the right device, you could click I have a different device. You could also skip this for whatever reason, but I'll go ahead and tap connect it. So it says Bluetooth pairing request. Venue SQ2 would like to pair with your iPhone. Enter the code shown on Venue SQ2. Do not do anything on Venue SQ2 until pairing is complete. So I have the six digit number here. Yours will most likely be different, but it's cool if it's the same. And you'll want to enter that on your phone. So I'll tap 551842, and then I will hit pair. So it says it's connecting your Venue SQ2. And for some reason it said pairing is failed, so I'm gonna tip, tap retry. So I will tap start. So it's searching. And it's connecting again. Okay, so it seemed like after a little stumble it finally figured it out and it says set the venue SQ2 device as your preferred activity tracker, yes or no. So I can go ahead and say replace or keep my current tracker. So for the moment, I'll go ahead and say replace. And it says pairing failed again. So that's very interesting. But now I'm getting a receive iPhone notifications. When connected, all notifications you receive on your iPhone will also be sent to menu SQ2 and may be shown on its display. So if you want to receive notifications on your device, go ahead and tap allow. Push this back down and retry again. So maybe I'll say keep current tracker then. <laughs> All right, so now it's completing setup. Setup is complete. We do have some indication here on the watch display itself that it's doing something with the app.
So at least connecting to an iPhone. A few weeks after launch, there do seem to be some bugs here. So I've got a pairing failed again. If you have a new device out of the box, make sure it's turned on. So it is turned on. Let me see if anything happens there. It doesn't look like it, but maybe that's a good sign. So I'll start again. So it's trying to connect. It's going through this little progress bar. All right, well done. Check mark, setup complete. So hopefully you didn't have to go through that, what, four times? <laughs> But if you did, I guess you can see there is hope if you keep trying something different each time, I guess. So I'll go ahead and tap next before it decides it didn't set up. So now it's saying set your profile picture. You can select an avatar, take a photo, or use an image from your gallery. It already has a picture here that I'm okay with. Otherwise, you can tap on any of these. So I'll go ahead and tap next. Next few questions will help calculate how fast you burn calories, your BMI, and your initial step goal. Okay, next. So they're asking what my gender is. I'll go ahead and enter female. How tall are you? So I guess I have to tap to change. And I'll say next. How much do you weigh? So tap to change and say next. And what is your date of birth? Tap to change and I'll say next. And when do you typically sleep? So enter your typical bed and wake times to help venue two, venue SQ2 track your sleep. So I'm actually gonna say this. The Do Not Disturb setting lets you turn off notifications during your sleep window. Would you like to turn it on? So I think that would be good. I'm going to say yes, but if you don't want that, you can say no. Which wrist will you wear it on? You can tap either one of these. Now I'll tap next. And set some goals. Based on your previous answers, we've set some goals for steps and intensity minutes. Tip, you can edit your goals anytime by viewing your user settings in Garmin devices. So... I can, you can either skip or edit your goals now. I guess I'll say edit and see what they did. So steps per day is on auto, automatically increase or decrease each day based on your previous activity. My initial goal will be 7,500. If you wanted to customize, you can just tap custom and then tap there and then say you want 10,000 steps or whatever. That's how you do it. And then tap out to change. Uh, fluid consumed, same thing. You can tap custom intensity minutes per week. And you can actually tap on these little question marks if you want more information. So I'll go ahead and keep all of those. Uh, so maybe it is a Garmin server error. So it says server connection error. We're having problems talking to the Garmin Connect server. Try again. So I will retry. Says you're all set, your menu SQ2 will sync periodically throughout the day and when you open the app. So let's see if it will sync. Mm, doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Maybe I'll go back. I'll say next. Almost done, sync. Okay, syncing now. All right. So it looks like I have the unlucky luck of having connection errors here. So, sorry. Let's see if I can just uh, do auto and then I'll say next. And it's not wanting me to finish. There we go. So again, you might go through some of this like I did says you're all set, your venue SQ2 may require occasional software updates. These will happen automatically after you sync. It may take several minutes. So, all right, finish. Hopefully it does. <laughs> all right, looks like they're giving us a little bit of an onboarding on how to navigate our venue SQ2. So let's say next. And maybe it didn't do anything, I don't know. Congratulations on your new Venue SQ2. Make it even more valuable by setting up some of your device's key features. 
There are safety features, music features, since I have the music edition, Garmin Pay, Garmin Coach, Connect IQ, and Women's Health. So you can either tap to get started or tap not now. I think for now, I'm going to leave this video kind of as is. So I'm gonna tap not now. And ready when you are to set up these features later, simply tap the device at the top of your My Day page. So I'll say got it. So what they're referred to, referring to before is this is the My Day tab. And if you tap on the device, it will or should load the device here. And then you can go back to finish the setup or certain things here like going to music specifically, safety and things like that. So. So let's see if there's anything here on the watch itself. It looks like we just have the basic watch face. They didn't do the onboarding for us, but I'm sure it's relatively simple things like coming down from the top or swiping up from the bottom or swiping left and right. Looks like we have a shortcut here and nothing to swipe right that's interesting so i will go ahead and uh, play around with this and learn how to use it myself and i'll make a how to use video where i go over fully setting up this thing customizing it to your liking going over all of the features and customizations and clock faces and so forth and so on so if you'd like to see that video I will link it in the description below, or I will link it at the end of this video. You can also search how to use Garmin Venue SQ2 Wearable Whisperer in either YouTube or Google search, and you should find the video once I put it up. So if you found this setup video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more wearable content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.